good morning everyone good morning sir so i tackled the chapter 16 operating of equipment and machinery so the safety operating procedure of equipment from our previous module safety practice are highlighted since the top of priority of a ship is safety now we are going to discuss this, the safety operating procedure of the following equipment so discuss the safe operating procedure of the following so number one is valve and pumps so about secure and regulate your valve operating procedure with valve interlock and lockout device you protect people and optimize your process flow so so, so pumps it's important to ensure pumps do not overheat to avoid the problem always leave the sanction and discharge line open during operation however if overheating occurs stop the pump immediately and allow it to cool to the air temperature then vent the pump at the drain plug slowly and costly before starting so next i discuss the hoisting and lifting equipment so stand comply clear of the load sit the load properly in the lock move hoist control smoothly avoid abrupt jerky movement of the load Removal uh, all loose materials, parts, blocking and packing from the load before starting the lift. Make sure everyone is away from the load before starting to hoist. So lifting about shoulder wind apart to provide a stable stance. Avoid awkward body positions in packing up, carrying, setting down item, avoid stretching, bending, or lifting to set to set it down in the same manner of lifting it. So, do not bend at the waist. Keep the object close to body and maintain a wind stance. So I discuss uh, safe operating procedure of the hatches, water type port, and related equipment. So always open hatch cover and clean coming top and double drainage channel after loading bulk cargo. Throughout the grain or cement hatch. So drill for the operation of water water tight door shall take place every week also the door should be checked before leaving the port i am Mitch Marzul. this is me reporting about the safety operating procedure of equipment so thank you for watching